We're getting ready to launch the Buvis Titanic. One small step for man. <laughs> motorized uh, Titanic this was actually Ronnie's idea and I'm just here to give my expertise so the auto two screws have been replaced with a bit more efficient ones than the what Lego uses and to motorize it we're simply gonna remove the original engines and we're gonna use these old motors now, why we are using these old motors? We are using these uh, motors because they have the highest RPM of any LEGO motor. And for uh, our ship, we need as high RPM as possible to get it to some decent speed. So I already pre-built the engine assembly and you just simply insert the motor and that's it. And the other one I really <laughs> I just improvised and put the movies uh, to zero in in a bag that should keep it safe just in case if some water gets inside. So now that the motors are uh, inserted, I'm just gonna uh, wire them to the movies unit. This. So we port one and two. Now we're just gonna squeeze the unit inside like this uh, it can actually quite steer quite nice Encountering some strong currents. Yeah. We managed to prove the Titanic really floats. The Lego bricks are, at least the ones which are which are oriented normally, have air trapped inside, and obviously, it's enough buoyancy to keep the ship afloat. It's very top heavy and if you put it in water it just capsizes immediately so why does this happen because the center of gravity of the ship is higher than the center of force of the of the displaced water which makes the ship float so because we cannot basically change the the, the center of the water displacement force what we can do is lower the center of gravity and this is done by adding weights so the first idea was to add weights just to the bottom of the ship um, but the problem is that we would need to add a lot of weights uh, to make the ship stable so this is when I came uh, to the idea to use the keel type weights so similar to like the sailboats use which have a, a, bigger, a bigger lever and then you need less weight uh, to stabilize the ship and then the trial and error started. It turned out that we need about two, two times one kilogram of weights and the lever is like 25 centimeters, about 10 inches and this was enough to stabilize the ship. This is where we try to waterproof the part where the axle pierces the foil. We use double-sided tape and it's still holding. So oh, it's holding, see? Look, it was holding. So it helped waterproof the ship. Excellent. Well, when I first heard that the LEGO Titanic set is coming out, I was quite impressed, uh, mostly by the size, because it was said it's, like, it's one meter and 35 centimeters, more than 9,000 bricks. 
and then I saw Racing Bricks review uh, and then I was thinking hey maybe we can do a nice interesting project with the Titanic and of course since it's a ship uh, the most logical thing is to to see if it floats and of course since we made buoys the next the next idea was to make it make it run under its own power so the best project. accomplishment is we made it float I would declare the project a total success so you are proud yes of course I'm proud of the whole team uh, because it's not just you know the idea was mine but you know we, we all worked together to make it work and to film the video yeah so these little boobies and two of those little old 9 volt motors is what propels the Titanic they are small but they are mighty powerful powerful enough to move the, the gigantic Titanic across the swimming pool with ease this motor has the most RPM of all the LEGO motors because uh, most of the LEGO motors are geared and the RPM to turn the, the ship's crew needs to be relatively high um, we tried also with Boobies motor but we would need a much bigger a much bigger prop and the bigger prop would not fit because there is not enough room at the back of the ship um, so basically yeah that's the reason we chose the we chose the old style motor and uh, then I started thinking because this is a brick built static model and of course it's gonna leak so immediately I had an idea to use the basically the foil to make it watertight and uh, the turning so basically since the propellers are already turning in the set it was not so hard to just replace the piston steam engines with the Lego motors and make it run and then I made some initial trials with the Lego propellers and unfortunately the Lego propellers are not very efficient at, at moving water so then uh, I got some real uh, radio control boat type propellers see you next time in the spring when the water weather is not so cold as it is now where we can uh, film on a nice lake or a river and yeah we have some new ideas what to do uh, to make this ship float and move even better so it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise what we will do next time so until next time see ya